because I missed the first few minutes, Frank, I didn't see all of Shane Goon's minutes. What I did see looked a little rough around the edges. Five turnovers in 20 minutes. We know that was a problem last year. 13 points. What did you think about Shane Goon? I think it was a mixed bag. Um, there were some things that I wish that he had improved a little bit upon, but it's still early. And I think him playing over in, uh, in during the, you know, in the FIBA and the Euro basketball, he, he probably didn't have as much time to develop the chemistry with the guys that you want to see. So I think that may play a factor. You got to remember a lot of these guys have been in this gym all summer together. So he's kind of the odd man out coming in late to the party. I think some of those turnovers that get cleaned up when he gets on the same page. Another thing, like I said, him and Jalen look good together. Jabari and him on defense, Jabari really helps him out um, because for Shangun, where he needs to do is learn to get in the right position. When you have a high level defender like Jabari Smith on the weak side or just helping out or at the point of attack, he really just has to know where to come help from rather than being the last line of defense. Because with Jabari, you're rarely going to be like a purely last line of defense because he's going to be there in front of the guy to to kind of, you know, stop the penetration or whatever. So one thing I was disappointed in Shangun is his rebounding. I know uh, Jakob Perto is a pretty big guy, but Shangun was doing a lot of ball watching, um, just kind of standing under the basket. I just want to see him throw his body and his weight around a little bit more. Other than that, you know, I think he had a pretty okay showing. I love the trio um, of him, Jabari and Jalen. And I'm interested to see because Silas did say he was, going to start uh, trying out a, a, a four out one in offense. And I just kind of want to see what that looks like for them as they go forward. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.